Stacy Burke here. Sorry it's so dark. It wasn't so dark when I had the photo, but I guess it's like, I don't know, 7.30 a.m. on Friday, and it's rainy, so it's a little overcast, and I lost the nail, so excuse me. Gotta fix it. And Katie and Dusty is running around, so you're going to see them going boom, boom, boom. They go back and forth on the, the hallway, and they just go through the doggy door like, Boom! Like crazy. Um, there's just things in my mind that I've been wanting to say, and I'm like, this is when I do a video. Of course, in your mind, you get it all worked up, and then as soon as you hit record, it's just like, I don't know how I'm going to say it. So it might be rambling. I don't know. Oh, hot coffee. Um, I'm just going through some things, and I'm like thinking, reflecting, like every, like I do all the time. It's not even the holidays. I reflect a lot, a lot, a lot, because I do try to learn from things, you know. But um, I'm just gonna jump into it because I don't know how to do. I don't like intros anyway. I hate intros to songs. I even fast forward the song to the to the song. Like, I just like to get to the meat of the matter, especially like with stories. I just want to say just. Give me a summary of it. I hate, like, long, drawn-out, like, no, just tell me the meat of the matter. Um, in the meantime, I'm getting, <laughs> I'm taking my time. Um, I'm just thinking about past relationships, and, like, I've been posting a lot on YouTube of my, my past, because it's like, I do have a lot of videos. I've been on YouTube since the beginning, so I have a lot. And so I have a lot of new subscribers that don't see it, and I understand when you see a lot of videos you don't even know where to dive into and you've got lots of videos and I really appreciate that you take your time of your life and and and, and watch my videos thank you because you know time is precious and so I do and yeah my birds are me loud because I'm talking and this morning and they they chirp when I'm talking huh Sonny and Cher um, so what I try to do is I try to harvest them a little bit I'm trying to going through a lot of my videos that were uh, a holiday orientated and put them and focus and, and post them so like oh okay so I can find them for you cherry pick them for you and show you something you might be interested in, since it is the holiday season and a lot of them are my past videos because why not I mean they're like unseen pretty because you have to really dig for them and then on my member section I've been posting a lot of my private videos that I had um, under private or unlisted and um, that you know, even if I put them public, you wouldn't be able to see them because once you publish them on YouTube, they don't they don't get they don't get promoted. Like um, it's just still buried. So in my in my um, member section, that's what I've been doing. But um, just going through, I'm just talking going to talk about, about relationships and stuff like that of all the relationships I've had, and even if, with the problems that I had with my ex husband and stuff. And I'm done. I done a bit video about this. So if you want to see it, I'll, I'll try to find it and post it or you can find it. But yes, I was married for my to my husband for nine years. And seven of those years was sexless. Like in other words, we didn't have sex. In fact, it probably was even more than that. It's probably more like eight years. Uh, and people are like, what? But it's true. Um, but, and people say, oh, you should have left right then. But at the same time, that really wasn't the main problem. And actually, it didn't really bother me that much. Only because, like, when people get married, it's for better or for worse. And there's a lot of relationships, there's a lot of marriages where sex is not part of it. And it's not just because it's not wanted. It could be a physical thing. It could be a heart condition. It could be a mental condition. It could be a physical condition. It could be maybe they're in a wheelchair. Maybe they're paralyzed. Maybe they're, you know, certain organs are gone. Like there's so, there's a myriad of reasons why in a relationship you might not have sex, right? So that wasn't the issue. My issue with that was I wanted someone that wanted me. I wanted romance. I wanted a little bit of the pursuit. I wanted someone that want, like wanted me, loved me, 
you know, like, you know, just give me some attention in other ways. And it doesn't have to be a physical way. It's just, um, you know what I'm, you, ladies, you know what I'm saying. I'm sure guys do too. There's a certain way that could fulfill you without the physical contact of sex. Or even just hugging or kissing or necking or making out or, or, or a sweet text or anything like that. Just And so that's what I was craving in the relationship. So in that video, I don't know if I made it clear that a video I did a long time ago, if you could find it, I didn't make that clear that that was the biggest issue, that I didn't have the romance. I didn't have the passion like, I love you, and I want you, and I need you. Like, the seriousness. Because having fun and being with a partner, and you're doing jokes, and you're having fun, it's like being with your best friend, right? Being with your best friend, and you're just having fun. And then you kiss, and ha, ha, ha. And, but sometimes you want that seriousness. And I think this is why a lot of women, and I just say, when I say women, I, I'm not excluding anyone. It's only because I'm a woman. I'm, I could speak for myself. And I know guys sometimes like, why do girls love the, you know, bands and the singers and the, you know, like the music, it's, you know, they love the musicians or the actors. I think because it, it, it um, ignites a passion and their romance in us when we, because it's almost like poets, you know, like when you see a band on stage, you're, you are igniting emotion and passion in us. And so they are the, the catalyst. They are the, the, the muse for that. And so you drawn to them and you're like, oh my God, they're so amazing. Because they're drawing this wonderful emotion out of you. So of course you become fans and like, oh my God, he's so cute. And yeah, they're cute, but, the, but that makes them more cute because like, oh my God, he's amazing because of this passion they ignite in you. And same thing with actors. If you see an actor that that ignites a certain passion in you, you're gonna like, oh my god, I love that actor because they 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 ignite something inside of you that is wonderful, and that is what I miss in a relationship. Like it's like um, I'm thinking about back all my relationships, and look, I'm today's woman. I pursued men. I don't wait for them to pursue me. If I like someone, I will let them know. Um, but those, to be honest, those are the ones that fail. Those are the ones, like, so far, because, um, I don't know. Maybe, they, like, since I chased them, they're like, oh. And then they, they just become, like, either my best friend that we have fun with, and I see, like, maybe once a week or something like that, or, like, and it's like, it's it's become like a friends with benefits type of thing, or it lacks passion and romance. And the ones that pursued me, and granted, it wasn't because I just gave up. I mean, I liked them, like I loved them, I fell in love with them. But the ones that pursued me seem to have that passion. And it just so happens to be that way. I'm not saying that, that is the recipe, um, that that's what I like, but I mean like, I don't know. Me, I love communication. There can't be enough communication. There cannot be enough. I love communication. I love, what What are you thinking? What are you doing? Like, like I know, it doesn't have to be like texting or calling like all hours of the day. But at least I would like one text or one call or like maybe even a phone call or like where we're talking, talking just some kind of intimate connection daily because if I don't get that then I'm I'm done I'm done I mean and then I'm like oh I put you then you're back in the friends category you're back in the friends category with benefits which is really what I don't want you know and uh, so when I'm in a relationship I like that like I like you know when you know, see romance movies. I'm sorry, guys. I know people are like, oh, God, here we go. But yes, I like that. I like that romance. I like the courting. I like someone that steps up and like, I want you. I love you. And it's like, there's a passion. There's something that, you know, ladies, you know what I mean, right? You know what I mean? And it's not just like, like, and having fun in games is great. I love that too. I love someone where you could just, it's almost like your, your best friend. You know, I, I love that. Don't get me wrong. 
but I need that too and I need communication because I'm even thinking about my past boyfriends like back in the past where I don't want to give too much away of uh, certain ones but like I, I had a lot of Eeyores in my life which I like the you know who is me and so I'm like okay so I try to help them out a little bit and I'm the one that the chivalry person you know like comes on the white horse and tries to save them or the broken bird wings and try to save them and try to do things for them and um, but then I'm like okay <laughs> my turn <laughs> and it's like and also you don't want to um, tell them either because they say well why don't you communicate to them and, and yes that's that's a good thing I should communicate to and I tell them what I need but also it's also not cool because it's like I want someone that already has that and already feels that and already does that I don't want to tell someone to do something I mean, I could tell what they, I need, and I don't see if it's organic. Like, I want it to be organic. I'm very much a hippie girl. If it's there, it's there. If it's not, it's not. And so I'm not really good at communicating of what I want and what I need so much because I feel like if they don't feel it either, then it's not organic. And granted, I love for them to tell me what they want and need too. I mean, I get it. But also, if it's not organic for me, then maybe we should just be friends. You know, I don't know. It's now I'm getting distracted because there's loud talking outside. Uh, but anyway, I'm just reflecting on that. And also with my marriage thing, there's a lot of other problems with that as well. It wasn't just that. Like I could deal with, hold on, I got to see who's talking downstairs. See if they're leaving soon. There's some, there's some guy covering up a motorcycle that's not his. I don't know what's going on. Uh, he's talking to himself, yep. Oh boy. Talking to himself, okay. Alright. I might have to stop this because this homeless guy is like, pick, is like doing something to a motorcycle that's not his. Hold on. Hi, I'm back. I just had to take care of that. Somehow now i got to piece this together. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Another thing is like canned responses. I don't know if anyone had a relationship like this, but I've had many past relationships where like, sorry, that was Dusty getting off the table, um, where you're having a conversation and they just have a canned response. It's almost like you push a button and you know you're craving some uh, communication uh, you know human communication you know and either text or you talk to them and it's space it's basically like they just push a button oh that's smart yes you, yeah you should walk to work or or like oh yeah see like you're like my husband like I would even t like call him out on that like um, like he would have certain sayings to, to go with this because he worked with an HR and people that work in the corporate world they they know when they're smoozers when they're really good at like salespeople and talking to people just to get the product they, they know the right sayings to say and but they will say it in different ways and I recognize it instantly he's not listening to me it's this hit can response blah 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 so it's not communication, it's just something to appease me, to sell me that, oh, you're paying attention, you're communicating me, and leave. And then it's like, that's, and I leave unfulfilled. And I know I'm talking selfishly about what I need, but that's just what the video's about. Um, because I know, like, they need stuff too. But, I'm talking about a certain thing about canned responses and I recognize that so to this day when I'm talking like even my friend Larry I'll call him out because it's true because I'll call him out like you know when because he'll be talking like just to talk he's just one of those people who'll just talk and he'll ask a question and I'll start answering and before I even done with the answer he's on to the next question I'm like okay you're not really wanting to know the answer you're just talking to talk because that's what and he just laughs and I go and then when I ask a question it's a canned response I'm like oh canned response and he laughs and he because I call him out on that 
there is a friend of mine that I could do that with. Um, but it's like, um, yeah, but I recognize that. And when I see it, it's like, ah, here we go. You know, it's like I'm being dismissed. And especially when we don't even talk that much. If there's, if it's a, a relationship where the communication's really low, where maybe I see them every once in a while, and then, you know, maybe one, te like one word text, and then when I, when I'm, you know, and then when I get a canned response, I'm like, oh, here we go. And so it's like, and I'm not trying to bash on anybody. It's just that's what I need. And then when I see it, I'm pretty much out because yes, I could communicate, I guess, better on what I need and what I want. <laughs> but then once you get it, it's like, you know, it is a thing. Like, I don't want that. Well, what do you want? Well, this is what I want. And then they give it to you. And I'm like, well, then it's, it's just not the same when it's not organic, you know? And if it means that I'm alone for the rest of my life, then it means I'm alone for the rest of my life. I am fine with that. I am so fine with that. Because I am not a friends with benefits girl. I'm just, I tried that and I don't like that. It makes me feel very empty and sad. <laughs> Either we're friends and we're friends and that's it. Or if we're something more, then I need passion. I need romance. I need communication. I need someone that's really there, present. Doesn't have to be physically there, but I need someone there. And I understand I'm busy, everyone's busy, everyone has work, but it'd be really great for at least 20 minutes out of the day, or even 10 minutes out of the day, to have some kind of connection. It doesn't have to be physical, but it has to be communicative, and it has to be like, like, you know, like downloading each other, like downloading, like, how was your day? Like, really, how was your day? Like, not just like, oh, well, that's smart. Oh, yeah, you, yeah, that's good for you. You, you know, you, you know, traffic's bad. You walk to work. Yeah, okay, yeah. It's like, um, <laughs> no, I mean, like, not like a friend thing. Not like I'm talking to my neighbor down the street. I want, if, if I'm in a relationship, you're my boyfriend, you're my husband, or you're whatever, like, you're, you're that communication, like real. And I'm, I don't like to force it. And when I feel that I'm forcing it and it's one-sided, I'm out the door. I'm out the door. I'm out the door. <sighs> so I'm just taking back. And I, there's, and when, if anyone's trying to piece all this together, look, I've had many relationships. So it's like, I'm talking about like, I don't want to say certain names, you know, I could say my past husband only because he's been on, on on the videos and stuff like that. And he's my only husband, that ex-husband ever had, or only husband, ex-husband, whatever. Um, but but they have past relationships you wouldn't know. Like they're not on the camera. They're not, you know, these are like past, like, um, and yeah, it's like, and I just felt like, you know, it was this one-sided and it's just one-sided, one-sided, one-sided. And I'm sure it's been one-sided with other guys. I'm sure there's past guys I've been with that would tell me that, that. and if that's true, which I'm sure I was guilty in this, in past relationships, and that is why we're not together. Because I'm not saying I'm not guilty in any of this. If I'm really not invested, I will probably give a canned response. If I'm not invested, I probably won't show you passion. If I'm not invested, I probably won't show uh, give you that much uh, communication. So that's what I'm saying. If you're not gonna show me passion, communication, show me invested, give me like at least 10 minutes a day of your time, of your present time, then you're not invested. So I'm not saying that I'm better and I do it perfectly. Oh no, oh no, I do exactly what I'm saying to other people and that is why we're not together. That's why it doesn't work. You gotta have passion. It's not even about sex. It's not about sex. And to tell you the truth, if I don't feel the passion or the communication, that's to me that's that's a I'm not turned on. I I am so female. Like I need to feel passion and loved and, and wanted and pursued and I 
all that for that's a turn on to, for me. That's a turn on for me. Not just words like canned words and like, oh, let's do it because it's time. Like, oh God, I'm not a robot. So, I don't know. I don't know who's going because I got uh, interrupted by the crack guy that's been that was talking to himself outside. I had to shoo him away because he was just acting really strange, like The Walking Dead. I swear it's like The Walking Dead. It's rainy out, so the Christmas tree lot. I think we're rained out today. It's Friday. Um, the Christmas parade is tomorrow. I really want to see the Christmas parade, but I got to work. So that's one of the drawbacks of being a seasonal worker is I'm missing, like, the, the whole Halloween experience I missed. Even though I worked at a carny, like, I, I had the Halloween experience, but other things that were going on in the city, other things, like, I missed. And, like, now it's, like, going to go see the Christmas lights or the Christmas parade or the boat parade or all these fun things. Are, you know, I, although I do love working the Christmas tree lot, so don't get me wrong on that. I really wanted to elaborate more on this, but that that interruption really kind of like took my attention and my now I'm just like I don't know where this is all going but anyway I'm just reflecting and, and um yeah just stay tuned I'm, I am posting a lot of my old because I seriously I've been on YouTube I think was it 2006 when it launched because I've been on it since 2006 so I have a lot so just keep checking and I'm going to post a lot of, and I'm going to post new stuff too as well don't get me wrong on that like I'm doing right now um but ladies let me know and even guys if you feel me on this it's like you know like I've always had this thing where <laughs> I know it's weird I said this before and this is such like a girl thing but when I had relationships all through my past and you know we had those fights, you know, when you have a fight and you leave in a huff and you drive off and then you look at your rearview mirror and I've always, went, this is just me, this is like the romance in me or like whatever weirdness, cliche you might want to say, but when I'm driving and I, and I have the rearview mirror and I see headlights in my rearview mirror, I like, I hope that's him coming to chase me down saying, don't leave, I want you. Like, when I'm driving, and I don't think it's ever happened. If it has happened, it wasn't a good way. But, like, when I'm driving off, and, I, and I'm driving in a huff and crying, like, it's over, it's over, I'm driving, and I look at, I look at my rearview mirror, and I see headlights, I always wish, God, I hope that's him coming after me chasing me down saying no no don't leave you're the one I love you I love you <laughs> just like that romance romance TV romance movies yes I'm a sucker I'm a sucker for that and not only am I a sucker for that because I've actually had real romance I've actually had real romance I think I'm ruined because my first boyfriend in high school and we were together until he died by a car, um, a drunk driver. Um, I had that. We had that. I had a romance like you see in the movies. I had that. Granted, yeah, he, we were young. And then, you know, when he started, like, it's a whole thing. He was like, he was always like the pudgy one. Then he lost a lot of weight. Like, he, he, we loved each other since... We were kids. We used to be friends as children. And then in high school, he came to find me because we went to different high schools. And then we like then we went together. And then we started getting cute. The girls started paying attention to him when we were like 22. And then like he wasn't used to it. So anyway, so there was some drama going on with that. But that's a whole story. Like I don't want to get into that. That's a separate vlog. The romance of my life. <laughs> He ruined me, I think, because I had those movies, Say Anything, the John Cusack. I had a John Cusack. I had. My boyfriend was that. He was that guy. He was that guy. And it was like, and then I was that girl, too. Like, okay, 
more noise, sorry. You probably don't hear it, but I, I hear someone going to work and stuff like that. But I had that. I had that romance. And so that's why, and also I grew up with my grandparents who were married since they were like, you know, 15 years old up until like they were 80s, you know what I mean? I'm talking like, well, like until my grandfather died basically. So it's like, you know, my grandmother lived almost to be 100. But they raised me. And so I saw that, I saw their love. Like I know it exists. I know it exists. I witness it only, not only with me personally, but I, I grew up with it with my grandparents. I seen the romance. I seen the everyday love that my grandfather showed my grandmother and my grandmother showed my grandfather daily, daily. They were married over 50 years, over 60 years. They were, they were like, they, I, I seen it with my own eyes and my ears and I, I felt it. So I know it's not a fantasy. I know it exists. And that's why I don't settle for anything less than that. I won't. I have, and I'm a fool for that. And I don't want to be a fool again. I want that. Or I'll just be by myself because I feel that way about myself, to be honest with you. I feel love and I want myself to be happy. And I have the love and passion and, and the intimacy that I don't need anyone. I hate to say it, but I don't. I am good. I know I'm good. So, yeah. So when I meet someone and I and I and I, and everything's good, but then that if that's lacking, then okay, back in the friend. Okay, out of the friend zone. Oh, 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 no, no. Oh, square peg, round hole. Okay, back in the friend. No, not a hater. You're good. You're good. You're good. But. No, I'm not settling for anything less than that. And yes, when I got married, I know I did. But I also, at the time when I was married, I thought I found that. Um, and yes, we did get rushed to be married because the show had the schedule. And I'm not blaming the show. We would have done it anyway. Like, I was very much impulse. I'm a very impulse girl. And um, and that's why, like, it wasn't the lack of sex Um of seven eight years it, it was just the intimacy and also he was abusive <laughs> it was that thing too it was abusive but i was one of those people like okay i took a vow and i really i tried really hard i i i know i tried very hard to make things work so i tried to the bitter end with all fingernails dug in but it didn't work. It didn't work. And actually, I'm better for it. So it's all good. I'm back to being me, and I'm enough, and I take care of things, and that's good for me because I deserve the best, and I will get the best, <laughs> or else I'll just I, and I have the best because I have myself. But anyway, now I'm just rambling. But yes, I think that is why it's not just the movies to blame. I actually have had seen with my own eyes and witnessed real romance and real love and twice once with me like I see it with myself and I saw it with my grandparents so it wasn't just one time I know I know it's out there so I don't know why I'm saying this I'm just like uh, reflecting and talking and maybe I help you guys because it is out there it is out there don't settle it does exist and if it and if you can't find it with someone else you are enough you are enough love yourself first because that's a, that's actually the main thing you got to love yourself first and you got to be enough first or else you can't bring anything to the table because when you're in the relationship you can't say okay how could how how could he help me how can he help me no you have to be enough and they have to be enough and then you bring together because it's like if you're waiting for the other person to make things better oh get ready for disappointment y'all mm -mm -mm. they will never make things better they can enhance things you know and, and you bring both to the table if you're both healthy and bring things to the table oh yeah then everything's great 
But yeah, it's like saving a drowning person. They'll bring you down with them. They will. You can't. You can't. Both. You need. You need to both have a boat <laughs> to stay afloat. Oh my God, I'm rhyming like crazy. Anyway, maybe we'll talk about more about this later. Sorry, I got. How to deal with The Walking Dead for a while. Okay. To all my Stace Cadets and all my Bricats, I hope you have a groovy day. Until next time, peace.